let us solve one more problem on applications of derivatives from tangents and normal chapter. So, the concept is here the angles between the curves. So, let me read the question show that the curves y square is equal to 4 times of x plus 1 and y square is equal to 36, 36 times 9 minus x intersect orthogonally. So, that means the angle between these two curves is 90 degrees, it is enough to prove that. So, that means in order to prove the angle between these two curves is actually 90 degrees, here we have to adopt strategy. That means problem solving technique has to be followed here. So, what is the step means? Let me discuss first. Here, first of all, solve equations for points of intersection. First, let us solve these two equations to get the points of intersection. Next, after that, find dy by dx for both curves, for both curves, we need to find out. Next, third one, add the points of intersection find dy by dx values say m1 and m2 and m1 and m2 be the slopes of the tangents drawn at the respective points of intersections that means indirectly m1 and m2 are the slope of the first line and slope of the second line respectively. As we know the slopes of the lines, easily we can determine the angle between the lines given by the formula. Now, using this formula, using tan theta is equal to modulus of m1 minus m2 by 1 plus m1 m2. But this is the formula. But here also the special cases will arise. What is the case means? you remember like this, if suppose m1 is equal to m2, now you need not apply this formula, the curves touch each other. Suppose m1 m2 equals to minus 1, then the angle between the curves is 90 degrees, they set to intersect orthogonally. So, that means this formula has to be applied if m1 into m2 does not equal to minus 1. So, this is the plan. So, using this plan, so now let us solve this problem. Let us solve the problem. Solution here given that given that y square is equal to 4 into x plus 1 equation 1 y square is equal to 36 times 9 minus x equation 2 solving 1 and 2 for points of intersection, solving 1 and 2 for their points of intersection. Points of intersection. That means, we need to find out the points of intersection. So, that means, uh, y square y square, these two are equated now. So, we get 4 times x plus 1 equals to 36 times 9 minus x. 
so let it be simplified now so now let us simplify so 4 1 ja 4 9 ja so that means x plus 1 equals to 9 times 9 minus x so this is nothing but a linear equation let it be solved for x value so now x plus 1 equals to 9 into 9 81 9 into minus x minus 9 x so now transposing the terms minus 9 x this side 1 that side we get x plus 9 x equals to 81 minus 1 10 x equals to 80 now x equals to 80 divided by 10 10 1 ja 10 8 ja 8 so x is equal to 8 for x is equal to 8 let us find out the values of y from equation 1 or equation 2 so put x is equal to 8 in equation 1 okay so if you substitute in equation 1 you get like this y square is equal to 4 times of x plus 1 here x is equal to 8 let us substitute now what do you get 4 times 8 plus 1 that is 4 times 9 equals to 36 so y equals to root over 36 that will be the plus or minus 6 now do you expect what are the points of intersection here yes the points of intersection are points of intersection of equation 1 and equation 2 are so 8 minus 6 and 8 plus 6 8 comma minus 6 and 8 comma plus 6 so as for our plan first we need to find out the respective derivatives of the first curve and second curve so once again recall the first curve this is the first curve so consider y square is equal to 4 times x plus 1 differentiate both sides with respect to x differentiate both sides with respect to x so that means d by dx of y square 4 times d by dx of x plus 1 so derivative of y square with respect to x is 2y and again y differentiation should be written so that means y square differentiation is 2y and dy by dx equals to 4 times x differentiation is 1 1 differentiation 0 so 4 now dy by dx is equal to 4 divided by 2y this is nothing but 2 by y am i correct you can check also now let us find out dy by dx for the second curve so now consider that is y square is equal to 36 times 9 minus x differentiate both sides with respect to x d by dx of y square d by 36 times d by dx of 9 minus x 
again y square differentiation is 2y dy by dx 36 times 9 differentiation 0 minus 1 which is equal to minus 36 am i correct now dy by dx equals to minus 36 divided by 2y this is minus 18 by y okay this is the derivative of the second car let us find out m1 and m2 at 8 comma minus 6 for the both the curves and also we have to consider case 2 we have to find out m1 and m2 values at 8 comma 6 first let us consider case 1 so case 1 case 1 here consider dy by dx of the first curve see this is we can say m1 also or you can say like this better at 8 comma minus 6 case 1 m1 dy by dx of the first curve this one at 8 comma minus 6 equals to 2 by y 2 by y at 8 comma minus 6 y value is replaced by minus 6 2 by minus 6 2 1 ja 2 3 ja minus 1 by 3 the value of m1 has been obtained here so m2 m2 means now consider dy by dx minus 18 by y so dy by dx at this 8 comma minus 6 here minus 18 by y so that means y value is minus 6 minus minus gets cancelled 6 1 ja 6 3 ja 3 what do you observe m1 is minus 1 by 3 m2 is 3 so, m1 into m2 minus 1 by 3 into 3, 3, 3 1 ja, 3 1 ja. So, minus 1, m1 into m2 is equal to minus 1 means they cut, they cut orthogonally. But we need to verify in case 2 also. Now let us consider the case 2. Case 2. At 8 comma 6. So let us find out m1. m1 dy by dx of the first curve at 8 comma 6 this is 2 by y actually let us write it at 8 comma 6 2 by 6 whose value is 1 by 3 i think i need not explain this one directly we will get it m2 dy by dx of the second curve at the second point of intersection 8 comma 6 so that is minus 18 by y at 8 comma 6 at 18, 8 comma 6 minus 18 by 6 6 1 ja 6 3 ja you can simplify yourself that is minus 3 so now consider m1 into m2 in this case also My, 1 by 3 times minus 3 3 1 ja 3 1 ja 1 into minus 1 is minus 1 now what do you observe so in at this case also in this case also they are orthogonal the angle between the curves is 90 degrees so therefore they are orthogonal or they cut orthogonally that is the better way they cut orthogonally 
so now what do we conclude now we conclude that the both the curves intersect orthogonally hence the both the curves both the curves intersect intersect orthogonally 